<coughs> is to complete the enhanced environmental review for the glacier project. The supplemental work authorized through the memorandum of understanding must be completed by the end of the second quarter of this year and negotiations for a replacement settlement agreement commenced on however that, that shakes out out of that process. The permit clock should start in the third quarter. The city administrator, senior planner, and city attorney are monitoring and participating in the current process. Also in third quarter, council, you, um, just to reiterate, this is item number eight, and it's a one page in the council packet for those watching from home or those in the audience looking at the council packet. It's item number eight, and it is a one page in the package. Council, another one of the top priorities that you have shared with me is to complete the labor negotiations with all of our bargaining units here within the city of DuPont. We are on target to complete those labor negotiations in third quarter of this year. Those negotiations would include a new multi-year contract for the police, fire, DuPont Employees Association, and completed in advance of the final 2011 budget adoption. And we start that process in the third quarter. Tourism actions in support of the U.S. Amateur Golf Tournament, also in third quarter. The Tourism Board, in cooperation with the city staff and DuPont Business Alliance, will work in the first two quarters on planning to maximize the value of the U.S. Amateur venue within the city of DuPont. Lastly, in the third quarter, we have phase two of the Train Canopy Project. This project's located in the historical village here in DuPont. Grant funds have been received to provide for the lighting and permanent fences and sidewalks for this project. So we look forward to completing that this year. The fourth quarter of this year, we have to complete the 2010 work on the comprehensive plan update. While a deadline for the update will likely be moved by the legislator, legislature, the target is moved ahead with work and, and makes a status report to the city council before the end of the year. This will happen. The Shoreline Master Plan Update. This is a two-year project under a grant contract with the Department of Ecology. A status report to the council will be made before the end of the year. 2011 budget adoption. Expecting yet another tough budget year, the city will invest significant time arriving at a balanced budget for 2011. Level of service discussions as well as as well as exploration of creative ways to re uh, regionalize, privatize, or shed uh, shed claims on budget resources will be part of the process. Greenway management alternatives. Uh, this year, as we've looked at the 2010 budget process, it's been very evident that it is very costly to maintain all of the greenways that we have along Center Drive and other areas within the city of DuP DuPont. It is an imperative that we look at what alternatives do we have so we can be very good stewards with taxpayers' dollars as we move forward. So we want to complete in fourth quarter, complete a process involving a landscape architectural firm to design less expensive methods for maintaining the current greenway rights of way in DuPont. Other issues to be addressed that's on our radar screen is to uh, secure the ownership of the power line road. And this area, council, I've uh, talked to some of you about this one-on-one -on -one and also talked to, to the community. But this area along Powerline Road is an area we're going to look at making a pet socialization area, maybe putting a fence up in this area, a uh, uh, doggy pot, obviously, an area for pet socialization. So we'll look at this area. Complete water and stormwater GIS system update, public work standards update, flood insurance program participation. Also on these other items to be addressed are personnel policy updates, El Rancho Madrona water system upgrades and connection update to water, the water system plan, uh, resolution on the sprinkler recall issue, the off-leash dog area, or what we're also calling pet socialization, the transition of the city administration and the leadership here within the city, and decision on the community development director and how we're gonna move forward with that position, not only in 2010, but how we also might move forward with that position in out years of 2011 and when the timing's appropriate and when we can afford to fill this position. Council, this is a living, breathe, a living breathing document for the 2010 action targets. This is um, a scorecard. This is a way that we can measure ourselves. After we have our retreat in first quarter, obviously we will 
uh, modify this as appropriate. Council, is there any questions on this uh, at this point? 